Hello everyone. 2016 was indeed a very fruitful year from the fixed income market standpoint. Right from money market funds to the uh, actively managed duration funds like gilt and bond ended up in hugely positive. Uh, the range of returns in fixed income for 2016 were about seven and a half to seven point seven five percent for money market funds, and for long duration funds like gilt and bond, it was ballpark in the region of about fourteen odd percent. So the range obviously was a little bit higher, but nevertheless, active funds were the best in line performing funds, followed by the accrual stroke short term funds, and then the ultra short term, and then the money market funds. So clearly the rate cuts uh, played in positively which we saw and uh, obviously higher the risk equal to higher the return played out well for 2016 what lies in store for 2017 uh, obviously the rate cut expectation bias uh, to our mind we believe will still continue uh, for starters beginning of the new year we have seen some of the key banks effect lending rate cuts Uh, in the band of uh, 0.5 to 0.9%, that's 50 basis to 90 basis points. That we believe is a very good beginning uh, to the year 2017. We expect this could be followed by further rate cuts by other bankers as well. This would effectively mean that banks lending to the real sector, the rate has come down or will likely ease further, making room for credit growth. so therefore some kind of an offset in a sluggish economy which is likely to be sluggish probably for the next couple of quarters this kind of an action will certainly offer some kind of a solace does this also mean that we could see some rate cuts uh, coming into 2017 well we have maintained this for a fairly long time that there could be two more rate cuts probably one before march 2017 that's 25 basis rate cut and one more 25 basis rate cut somewhere in the april to june quarter so that probably would mean for the remainder or the entire part of 2017 calendar year we could see the repo rate or the benchmark rate at 5.75% so what could one look out for strategies from 2017 perspective uh, in fixed income Uh, so in line with the rate cut expectation we do expect duration strategies to do well but it's after all a function of the risk appetite that one has so if you have a 3 year investment outlook for fixed income we would still recommend an overweight into a short duration stroke accrual portfolio uh, but certainly with a top up of actively managed uh, duration strategies like gilt and bond this we certainly believe is likely to even out the wobbliness of the market and try to optimize returns on your portfolio uh, with that we believe that uh, while 2017 holds in a lot of promises there obviously would be some pitfalls some wobbliness some roller coaster journeys along the way but i think the key is to stay put because as swami vivekananda said that if you've not encountered any problems during the day then probably it's a wrong path that you have traversed so i think uh, stay belted stay put stay um, with the course uh, there is and there are opportunities in the offing the key is to control to emotions namely greed and fear and then uh, i think it's probably uh, in set or in course for a healthy wealthy and a happy 2017 thank you mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully